Here's a name that we haven't said in a very long time, Latasha Scott. Formerly of Escape? Well, not formally. Well, it looks like Latasha and her lawyers are sending a letter over to the folks producing this Escape and SWV tour, and they're claiming copyright infringement. Now the world knows that you are a liar that is doing a gospel album. <laughs> Thief. Stealing from the church. Stealing from your sister. Stealing my identity. She got nerve. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been such a long time since we talked about Latasha Scott. If you miss any of our videos, I feel like those are some of my best, most creative videos. Okay, come on now. I am the fifth member. How about that? Or this one. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. I know that's Taylor Swift, but th that m statement stood out to me. And I said, after the escape show is off, do should we retire this? And y'all said, no, keep it, the keep it in the soundboard. So we've talked a lot about Latasha Scott. We loved recapping the SWV and Escape reality show, The Queens of R&B. But a lot of the toxicity stemmed from the issues between Latasha Scott and her sister Tamika Scott, who had defended her for so many years, but had to come out in multiple videos talking about some damning accusations, especially when it comes to Rocky and possibly Latasha stealing like $30,000 from her. So we covered all of that. So if you missed any of it, be sure to check those videos out because we had a good time. We had a good time. However, I, I'm not surprised that this news has come out that Latasha Scott has sent a legal letter warning Mona Scott Young and everyone that's producing this tour that's going to feature SWV, 702, Maya, in total. Natasha has sent over a legal letter to M Mona Me Productions Basically telling them that you guys need to follow the copyright and cut us a check or I guess legal action. All right. So let's just get into this. And as always, you know what we do here. We always cite our sources. So this is coming from exclusively from straight from the A. And they write this. It's been only a week since the 90s girls group who, who consists of Latasha Scott, Tamika Tiny Harris, Tamika Scott, and Candy Burris officially announced that they were heading on a nationwide tour co-headlining with SWV produced by Mona Scott Young's Mona Me Entertainment along with Live Nation. They continue, they said, fans of the popular group were left wondering why only three members appeared in the promo. Perhaps Latasha's attorney's letters can provide some clarity. I wasn't completely blindsided by it. I, If you've been following the escape situation, you know that the three members have been the only ones touring. And part of that came from some shaky business that was exposed at the end of that season of Queens of the Queens of R&B. Basically, Latasha and Rocky were accused of stealing money from the group. And apparently, allegedly, that wasn't the first time. <laughs> What are you whispering over there to her, Rocky? <laughs> and that was on top of the whole Tamika being, you know, money being stolen from her by her own sister and husband, allegedly. All right. Even though we have checks to prove it. All right. They continue and they said Latasha Scott, through her attorney, Laron E. Rogers, is claiming that Live Nation, Mona Scott Young's Mona Me Entertainment Group are interfering with her rights as one half of the trademark owner of the Escape brand. Does her sister own the other half? I believe so. I can't remember the legality. I just know that Candy doesn't necessarily, but I believe Tamika and Latasha both own the rights. And remember, she sort of hinted at this in interviews. Remember, she was trying to promote the gospel album. And the Lord said, I rebuke you. Mm. So I think that that's what happened here. I just don't understand why back then they did not secure this as a group in regards to the trademark. But regardless, she still would have rights to what to what she's saying here. So 
The letter notes that Scott was completely blindsided by the news that Escape had signed a contract for a nationwide tour without her. Not only was she blindsided, she probably was hurt. And she was just like, what about my money? Where's my money? (laughs) Hell no. Okay. Latasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation, whom Escape has contracted to perform on numerous occasions, contracted with individuals and is publicly advertising the Escape mark to promote a live musical performance for for a series of concerts during the Queens of R&B tour without Latasha's consent. In addition to failing to obtain consent, you have also failed to even reach out to Latasha to agree on financial terms. Come on now. For the use of the mark, as well as to discuss her performance. Here's the thing. Was this an issue? Because Escape has been using this name. They've been doing multiple dates since, you know, the the Queens of R&B and the fiasco that that was. So maybe because she knows the potential of this big announcement of a tour and how much money. Because they this was revealed on the reality show. They made millions when they reunited as a group. And I remember back back then I said, Escape is nothing without every single member. But we've seen them perform since then. They're okay without Latasha. Mm. And I don't blame them not wanting to have Latasha because she's going to insist on Rocky doing business for her. And unfortunately, that has caused an issue for the group. Allegedly. So she's probably a little butthurt because she knows... Not only does Latasha know, but Rocky <laughs> Bivens also knows. Ah! <laughs> so they're trying to secure that they get something out of this. So th- she further notes that Mona Scott Young is totally in on it, being that she, of all the people, was well aware of the trademark situation between Latasha had to agree to use it in the past. Okay. Mona Me Entertainment, whom it appears to be a co-promoter of the Queens of R&B tour, has specific knowledge of Latasha's ownership and rights to the mark because Mona Me Entertainment specifically obtained Latasha's consent to use the mark for a television series produced by Mona Me Entertainment. I mean, she has a valid point. She has a valid point there. And I wouldn't be surprised that Mona said, you know, she's going to probably do something in regards to this because she does. I'm surprised that she didn't do anything during those other tour dates that they were doing without her. So in addition, Mona Scott Young, the principal of Mona Me Entertainment, previously managed the music group Escape. We can come together. We can come to no other conclusion that to believe Miss Young and Mona Me's conduct to be intentional and with the specific intent to interfere with the rights of Latasha slash Rocky. Can y'all believe this shit? So according to Straight From The A, they said that Latasha's attorneys are asking that Mona Scott Young slash Mona Me Entertainment contact them within five days to secure the proper licensing for use of the trademark. They write, i.e. cut the check. Basically, they want to be paid in order for them to promote this tour. And I wonder how much they're going to ask. So straight from the A continues, it says, for the record, the trademark was secured by Latasha and her sister, Tamika Scott, like I said, during the time period that Candy was adamant about not rejoining the group. Since that time, sidebar, Candy, even if you were adamant not about joining the group, this is a part of your legacy. And back then, all of that should have been secured. Each and every member should have rights. This is why these other girl groups have the issues that they have now, like in Vogue. They Only two of those members own the trademark for them as well. And that's why they sort of iced out, allegedly, uh, the other members. So they said, Latasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation, whom Escape has contracted to perform on numerous occasions, contracted with individuals and is publicly advertising the Escape mark to promote a live musical performance at Lovers and Friends May 4th, 2024 festival in Las Vegas without Latasha's consent. In addition to failing to obtain consent, you have also failed to even reach out to Latasha to agree on financial terms for the use of the mark as well as to discuss her performance. Also, she wants to be on the tour. <laughs> she wants she wants to be at this performance. Here's the thing. Your sister could even get in contact with you because you because you had blocked her or something like that. I, am I surprised? No. I think Latasha is forever going to be a thorn in their side. Remember, there was a period where Latasha and Tamika and Tiny were touring as Escape 3, and they even changed the spelling. Escape, y'all might just need to do that. 
Y'all might just need to just do that because she's always going to be a thorn in your side. You've already been touring without her successfully because everyone is excited about this tour, even with the fact that Latasha's not there. And I told you, I was like, there's no escape without all the voices, including Candy's voice. I didn't like it. I didn't like Escape 3 when it was without Candy because Candy's such a critical tone to their sound. But I also feel the same about Latasha, but Latasha's spirit so damn bad. <laughs> I was like, that's just too much toxicity. We'll look, we will be strong. We will be strong. And to just make this tour the, the the tour of the trios. The only person that's not a trio on this tour is Maya. But I'm good for you, Maya, securing this bag because she's an independent artist. But everyone else is a trio. To sidebar, is Toto still a trio? I heard Pam ain't coming back. So how are we doing this, this tour without Pam? Her voice is so significant, too. Anyways, I, I don't know that for sure. I just heard that on the streets, the internet streets. So we have SWV. We have Escape. That's a trio now. <laughs> it's like the tour of trios besides Maya, featuring Maya. <laughs> I'm excited for it. I think I think this tour is a great idea. It's going to be a big money maker for everyone involved. And I'm not surprised that Latasha is doing this. I think because they've been doing dates with this name that they didn't think anything of it. But I'm not surprised. Are you? I'm sure they're probably not surprised either that this is happening. Do you think that they will pay Latasha? Or do you think that they will move forward with a different name? Like Escape 3 with the number 3. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to this news that Latasha Scott has an issue with the group not including her in this tour, but also using a trademark that she is a partial owner of. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. I am the fifth member. How about that?